and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and remove items from a list box. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a list box. I'm just going to drag that on here and resize that to whatever size you see fit. All right. Now I'm going to go and get a text box, and this text box is going to be used to input data into the list box. All right. So you can use a single line. Uh, text box or you can make it a multi-line and stretch it down. For right now I'm just going to use a single line. Next step is to grab two buttons. One of these buttons is going to be the submit button and the other one is going to be the remove button. Alright, so there's one and then there's two. Alright, now that I have that added that's pretty much it for the design aspect of this program. Alright, next step would be to actually do the programming. Alright, so I'm going to click whatever button I want to be the submit button, and I'm just going to type in this code list box one dot items dot add. And whatever is inside these little brackets is whatever is going to pop up inside uh, the list box. So what I want to pop up is whatever is going to be inside this text box. So I'm just going to do text box one dot text. Alright. So now each time I press this button, it's going to add uh, whatever's inside the list box. All right, so I'll show you that real quick. Type some stuff in here. I can click add. I can even switch it up, type some things, and you see how that works. All right, next step is to add the remove uh, button. So now I'm going to click whatever button um, I want to remove the item, and I'm going to type in this code, list box one dot items dot remove at and then I'm going to put brackets and then I'm going to do list box one dot selected oops selected index alright so what this is going to do is it's going to remove uh, the item at whatever index I have selected on the list box. Alright, so I'll show you that in a second. So this will remove an item. This part I have highlighted. That's the code that actually removes it. And it says remove at. So this would be a, oh, I'm going to mess it up if I drag this. Control Z. Alright. So this part is going to be whatever, it's going to be an integer from zero to whatever amount of items you have. So whatever item you type in, or whatever number you type in here is whatever index it's going to remove at. So instead of typing in a number here, we're just going to have it so it automatically puts in a number accordingly to what we have selected with our mouse. Alright, so I'm just going to show you that here. I'm going to hit the start debug. And I'm going to add some items. I also recommend putting in a try catch. Um, code in here so this way if you don't have any items selected and you hit remove it won't mess up your program so as you can see I can select an item just by clicking it and clicking the remove button you can also configure this to have it work with the delete key on your uh, keyboard if you so choose you, there's a lot of things you could do with this I'm kind of just showing you the basics so you can use this for whatever program you uh, are working on alright so that's that and the last thing I just want to do is the try catch very simple all I'm going to do is add the word try and put catch here and I'm just going to do and try. Oop, messed that up. There we go. Oh, come on. Why is that not working? Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's that. Now if I was to run the program and don't have a, an item selected, it wouldn't mess up the program. It would show that there's an out of range exception, but it would not crash your program. Compared if you didn't have an item selected, it would throw an error message and could crash your program. Alright, well that's it for this little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope this helps you with whatever program you're making. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. It helps me out a lot, and it also allows you to get updated on all the cool videos I make. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Peace.